here's the lower part of the body uh, printed uh, in like 20 hours um, pretty good looks beautiful a little bit of layer shift here what I'll do is I will sand that all right there's only five hours to go it's like a 20 hour print I'm starting to come up with probably the most difficult part which is the overhangs on the top does look amazing. All right, the upper body. And it actually got, uh, <laughs> I ran out of filament on the spool to right about that level. Luckily, I had some leftover carbon fiber of a different brand, but it is hard to tell the difference. It's the near perfect finish. This is 0.3 millimeter layer height. Before we get started, a word about sanding. Uh, one of the things that's probably going to happen, as soon as we start sanding this, this nice black material is going to get white and frosted. Kinda. It's going to start showing whiteness come through it. Not so much here, but you'll see that. And all of a sudden, now, the good news is as soon as you spray this with a clear lacquer, either a matte or shiny, it will all turn black again. So don't to worry about sanding, uh, messing up this beautiful black sort of finish um, because you'll get it back after you're done. All right, now, first thing uh, I want to do is sand this bottom flat as it fits uh, the bottom of the top piece, as it fits onto the... Uh, the lower piece and notice it's keyed so it won't slide back and forth it makes it really easy to glue um, so what I like to do is take like a 220 sandpaper put it on a nice hard flat surface and then you can just go back and forth uh, to make sure it's perfectly flat don't over sand and when you want to sand fit sand fit sand fit Another thing that I will often do is take a razor knife and just trim around these edges just to make sure that it's a good fit. It's a really nice smooth fit most everywhere but on this side it's just a little bit of gapping right here. Just a little more right. After you have it fitted as well, and you think you can get, it is time to glue it. I like super glue. Um, you could use five minute epoxy. I've had really good success with super glue. One of the reasons the design has these keys in here is so that it just kind of clips in place and you can hold it and it really facilitates the super glue. I also like being able to kind of give it some pressure and push down on it um, as we do the, the gluing just to hold it in place. So I'm not going to uh, videotape the super glue. I think you can figure that one out. Now, one thing I do like to do with all my super glue is to hit it with the accelerator. Notice there's still gonna be a gap here and we're going to sand that uh, just a second. So remember, this is carbon fiber PLA. I do like to wear a respirator mask. It's gonna take some sandpaper, sand along the, the ridge. So I like to give it kind of an overall sanding with a 220 or high grit sandpaper, just to maybe give it a little bit more consistent smoothness, especially since I sand so much right here at the seam. I like to blend it in. I like it, it kind of gets this wood grain pattern up here at top. I don't know if that can show through. I tend to leave that, but you know, that's your choice. It does make me want to print one of these out of the wood PLA and see what happens. These corners, I like to make sure to get a fine, uh, a grid here, like this is 80. You just hit these bottom edges, make sure they're just rounded. Uh, go with the layers so that it doesn't show extra scratches just because that's the part that your arms go around and just makes them a little bit softer. 